to the Rocks Volleyball blog. My name is Barry Lovelace from Training for Volleyball and the Barry Lovelace Athlete Training Academy. I'm very honored to be here for you in Rocks Volleyball to help you hit harder, jump higher, and have some incredible, incredible core strength to drastically change your game all over the court. Today what we'll talk about is the flexible resistance we use as well as we're going to do one exercise that will drastically change your serve percentage, your serving power, and your hitting power if you're a hitter. And it's, it will also help your passing and setting as well. But we're gonna focus on is, the number one reason we're gonna do this exercise is really to focus on hitting, okay? But again, everything else will follow. If you're a setter, you're gonna set better, definitely gonna pass better, and all your hitters are gonna hit harder. So how do we create good power? long-lasting power just with flexible bands. This is like a big rubber band, okay? We're gonna, not gonna use that today, but we are gonna use this, the JC all-purpose band. How, how does it happen? Well, what we do is, first of all, when we stretch these bands, it's creating nice kinetic energy, okay? That heat energy. When we release it, so again, as we stretch it, kinetic energy, as we release it, it's back to its beginning stage, which is elasticity and it's static stage, okay? When we use these bands, whatever movement we're doing with them, the muscles are mimicking the bands, okay? So as we're stretching our muscles and using our muscles, the transfer of the energy is going right into our muscles so we can use them right away. So there's two things to think about. One is think about a light switch when your lights are off, okay? There's energy there. It's in the background. When you go to turn the lights, when you go to uh, turn the lights on, you just hit the switch, and boom, the lights go on. Okay, right away. And that's what we want. We want that energy stored so that when you either serve or you're going to have a big kill after a really nice set, we want that energy there and stored. We don't want you to think about hitting harder. Okay, we don't think about turning the light switch over on, and when we go over to it and be like, okay, we got to do this a certain way and then there's gonna be more power, or the power's gonna come right away. No, you just flip the switch and it's there. Same thing, we want you to hit without thinking, okay? With tons of power. And that's why, that, that's the really cool thing about elasticity, is it's there. So when we use these bands, it's there and it's stored almost immediately. I always say there's really two reasons why you will not see a change by doing all the exercises that we have our athletes do, especially this one. One, you're just not doing it. Two, you're just not following the instructions correctly. As long as you're doing it correctly and performing this exercise, you'll see a change almost immediately. The other thing to think about is, got my handy dandy super ball here, elasticity. When I bounce this super ball, when I throw it down and it bounces, it doesn't have to stop and think, okay, I need to get up higher. All you do is drop it and it bounces up. Drop it and it bounces up. That's how you want to jump. That's how you want to react and that's how you want to hit. The number one thing we hear after our clients are, or the people that buy the DVDs and are doing these exercises all over the world, the number one thing we hear is how incredible it is that the ball just flies off their hand. It just goes, because the energy is stored from using the flexible resistance creating that elasticity, okay? So let's do it. Let's show you one really cool exercise size. It's called a swim, an overhead swimmer's pulse, okay? I'll just throw this aside. We're going to use the all-purpose band. Let me grab that again. If you notice, these bands I've been using for at least about 12 years or so, they have a little loop on the end, and we just hook it around a pole, pull it through, and then it's nice and tight, as you'll see right here. Okay? I'm going to show you, I will show you it from the side first, so you see where my hands are. I'm going to use just something to protect the knees. So what you'll see is I'm nice and straight from my shoulders to my hips to my knees. My arms are going to be fully extended with my fingertips up, and I'm going to explain to you why I want my fingertips up. And hands are in front of the shoulders. You never want your hands behind your shoulders. If your coach or your parent or yourself are doing an exercise with your hands behind your shoulder, stop. It's one of the worst things for your shoulder, okay? Hands in front. Arms are going to be at 45 degrees, as you'll see once I show up from the front. Nice, strong core. I'll explain that to you as well. And all you're going to do is pulse your hands towards the wall with your shoulders. Notice how I'm just not using my hands. It's, I'm squeezing my core, using my shoulders. Arms are fully extended and pulsing forward. You can do, like, do this 
30 to 45 seconds. If you start feeling it after 20, then you, it's good, but if it starts getting really painful and you're feeling your muscles fatigue, then you stop. Do four or five sets of these, like three or four times a week, you'll see a huge change, okay? I'll show it to you from the front. And let me just go over why the fingertips are up. We do almost every, as much as we can with, our, uh, with the bands, with our fingertips up and not grabbing the handles, okay? The reason we do that, when you start grabbing a handle, if I was here, I'd be forced, it just happens, meant that you're forced to just use your hands, and then you're going to be out of focus and out of the proper range of motion we want to use. The other thing that happens is, then you focus on using the muscle that you're working. You always want to use the muscle you're working. So by having your fingertips up, you're not forced to use your hand, you're forced to use the muscle you're working, which was your shoulder. And think of dragging your fingertips for this exercise along the wall. That'll help keep your arms fully extended, okay? Squeeze your core. You know, it doesn't mean suck your belly in, it just means squeeze your core as if you're laughing really hard, which I know they do at Rocks Volleyball in the office, and I've spent time with them and I know we laugh really hard, or act like someone's gonna punch you in the belly and just squeeze real tight, okay? You're engaging those muscles. There's a few things that happen. You're protecting your, you're balancing, it helps you balance. You're protecting your back, which is really good. And as you're doing this exercise, all that energy is actually going to your core as well. So let's work it all. This is how it looks from the front. On your knees, nice and straight from your shoulders to your hips. Arms out at about 45 degrees, fully extended. Fingertips up. And only you know the resistance. If it's too much where your arms are coming back, then you have to go back towards the resistance. If it's not enough, go away from it. But keep those hands out front. This is how it looks. Forward. Right to the wall. Making believe that my fingertips are dragging against the ceiling, and I'm just using my shoulders. I'm not using my hands. If I use my hands, you'll see this. Fully extended, shoulder. Breathe out on the way out. That's your exertion. Let me show you something from the side. You can also bring your toes up. That forces you to stabilize and balance and use more core strength, so it grabs the core more. Okay? That's it. Done. Squeeze your core. Use your shoulders, arms fully extended, as extended as they can be, hands in front of the shoulders the whole time. Use these bands, create half decent resistance to start. So you never want the band when you're starting. I'll just use one arm. We never want it loose, see how loose it is? We want to start with resistance every time so that we have resistance on the concentric and the eccentric part of the movement. You don't have to know all that, but just put it this way. You want um, resistance both ways, okay? Don't have to get too scientific. So there you go. All of our friends out there watching Rocks Volleyball and all the cool things they're doing. Hopefully I'll be back. We're going to do some vertical stuff, some more core. Obviously we're always going to, we're always going to work the back of the body, so we'll try to show you some of those exercises. So stay tuned over the next few months and we hope to have some more for you. That's the kneeling overhead swimmer's pulse with the all-purpose band. Thank you and see you next time.